I'm going to be leaving my bias about this whole situation until the end. Um, I purchased a uh, Surface Pro 7, an i5 uh, processor with 8 gigs of RAM. And basically, throughout the time that I owned it, um, it was, you know, working fine. And um, I guess one night it decided to install an update that was corrupted or, it, or in the time that it was actually being installed, um, the update did not um, go through properly, maybe based off the fact that it didn't have power or made sh might have shut off during it, whatever. So basically what it is, is um, because of this update being corrupt, it went about making my Surface Pro go into what they call a boot loop. Um, so basically in the vid what you're seeing now is um, when you turn on the um, Surface Pro, it will show the logo, then it'll immediately shut off. And then you press the button again, and it'll immediately show the logo, and then immediately shut off. Um, when this process is happening, or when this is actually happening, you are not able to do a hard reset um, in order to boot it up properly. I probably tried about 150 times. Um, the reason why I am posting this video is because of the fact that there's not a lot of feeds that I have found out there to fix this, solve this problem um, without basically sending it to Microsoft or going to a Microsoft store. In my circumstances where I live, uh, Microsoft went out of business and um, they're nowhere to be found. And I'm also a type of person that ne doesn't necessarily want to send these things in the mail for diagnostics. I am, to a certain degree, a, um, I want to say, a decent tech savvy individual i've been throughout most of my life dealing with um computers uh, and uh, laptops and of course now tablets so i felt that i should possibly you know take care of diagnostics so basically what happens is is because you can't do a hard reset um the tablet won't allow it to happen because it's not recognizing it before the logo so when i reached out for the information not a lot of people posted about it on YouTube, and I could not find any real Reddit information or, or, you know, whatever. And I eventually stumbled across two people that were actually having the same problem. Um, one was a business owner for technology, and another was, um, you know, a common everyday consumer. And basically what they were explaining was that some of this temporary information gets stored to the RAM within inside the tablet. And what happens, I guess, like the updates themselves go about um, saving to that. So basically it was instructed to me that I pretty much have to sit there for endless amount of hours pressing that power button, creating a loop where the logo is constantly flashing so the battery will drain itself. Um, and I mean, I was doing that for about two weeks. Um, in these videos, I'm basically showing you what these guys show to actually uh, defeat pressing that button. Um, they rigged up a boot script, or I mean a script um, coding for their CD-ROM drive. And what it is doing is it's continuously opening and closing. So it's able to hit the button on the tablet. So you can walk away for endless amount of hours. It'll do the job. And um, for the most part, I have found that it worked. I currently am now showing you if you do have the advantage of actually having a home PC and you um, aren't necessarily afraid to kind of do some uh, text documents in a notepad, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, for those of you that don't have a computer, because this is a day and age where desktops don't necessarily exist, um, and CD-ROM drives are absolutely, to a certain degree, becoming very obsolete due to, you know, USB usage and, um, you know, downloading programs and applications for computers. Um, this is a trick that I actually knew of when I was in, in school where we would 
use it as a prank in school to mess with people <laughs> on like April Fool's Day they're you know whatever but so it needs to say here's the script and everything so that you can type it in and so basically what you do is you take the um, you copy and paste the, the, the description of the actual script into a notepad and what you do is is um, you save it as a application format which would be a VBS format um, it will save originally as a text format just like a say like a document and upon saving it you find the icon and I'm going to show the icon as well and you click it and hopefully if everything is all set up properly in your computer it will open your CD-ROM drive and it will execute the way you need it to do so after I launched the script basically what I did was I allowed it to sit and it would um, press the button continuously and then eventually before I went to work the logo died and what those guys were saying is once that logo dies it does not necessarily mean the charge is still not into the battery like I said what you're doing is you're depleting the battery that battery has become so depleted that it will not launch the screen and the screen will be dead and not active um, the logo will not exist but you will still hold the charge so what I did is overkill because I work second shift I allowed it to go through my shift. I went home, went to bed, woke up around like nine o'clock in the morning, did my errands, came back. I continued to allow it just for like an hour or more. And then I stopped the program. And an easy way to do that is just to shut down your computer. And um, I was weary, of course. And then I went about plugging in the um, power cord um, it did not boot up by itself. I pressed the power button and then it launched. And, and as you can see, it actually worked. So with that said, now my biased. First off, the fault is this. Um, the fact that they have pumped out like nine Surface Pros and some kind of like miniature versions of it or whatever. I, haven't really, I don't really know. Whatever. This has been going on for a long time. Those guys that I found the research on uh, for this problem, they were fixing like Surface 3s and uh, Surface 5 or whatever the fuck. Um, I find it to be pretty ridiculous that um, they have not changed up their game. Um, the idea is this battery, um, regardless of the fact... I don't want to open this thing up, regardless of the fact you as the person, the consumer, you don't know what you're doing, or even people that actually know what they're doing, you know, they have to open it up. These people have found that when they open it up, they have found the battery not being able to get access to um, because it's soldered to the, the board, which is, you know, it doesn't expose any wires. There's no disconnection of the battery, and it would simply fix the problem if that be the case um they have not changed up the you know volume up or volume down with power function to do a hard reset before the logo and that tells me that the consumer is thinking hey this is broken now i got to go to a store and get it fixed i don't know what they're charging but the fact of the matter is that that is the case is in my like i said in my opinion really ridiculous if you're okay with spending that kind of money that's your prerogative um i like fixing my things and the fact that i had to set up all that is um you know it's not cool the other argument is this um why not just buy an ipad well ipads are great i think apple is a really good company they are expensive um a lot of the things are very streamlined, user-friendly, but they also have the same fucking marketing tactic, tactics as, say, Microsoft does. Um, does that make them bad? Not really. Is it ag agitating that a lightning charger is 60 bucks? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, so I, like I said, I've been a Microsoft user most of my life. So I'm familiar with it. I'm familiar with the platform. I'm familiar on diagnostics with it. I'm familiar with the programs and executing things. Um, it has done me well. The tablets, get your shit together. Microsoft, <laughs> stop taking advantage of what people don't know. And, uh, you know, most likely people will be more willing to buy more things. That's my take on it. I uh, hope this helped you guys. Much love and uh, peace.